Well hello there Minecrafters, how are you today? Just wanted to give you a short tutorial on villager breeding, how it actually works. Now I wanted to make this video because uh, when I was researching it on YouTube, the videos I found were about massive villager spawners and although that's interesting, I just wanted to know the, the bare mechanics of how Minecraft determines why a villager breeds and what did, what is uh, constitutes as a house and a village and so on. So. When I was checking out the Minecraft forums, there was a fantastic thread by Iron Magus that explains to every detail of how villager breeding and villages and houses work. This video is just a small demo of that. I highly recommend checking that out. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to that. And also, I've installed a mod called Village Info by Trunks. Just a great tool that when you press, uh, when you press F3, you can see it says no village found. And it just gives a bit of info about uh, how many houses you have and and tells you about the village and all that. So anyway, we'll get into it and this is how villager breeding actually works, okay? So basically, um, villagers will breed completely de de uh, dependent on how many houses there are in the village, okay? Not necessarily doors, but actual houses. Now, when I say houses, it's what Minecraft determines what is a house. So, just to show you what a house is, is uh, we'll start in the middle here in this demonstration area, and this gold block is going to be the door block, okay? So, the first thing a house needs in Minecraft is a door. So, you see this opens over the, the gold block there, and Minecraft is going to say, okay, I have a door. Now, what else do I need to be a house? And that is a roof block. So what we need to be a house is a door and a roof block. The roof block can be any opaque block, so you're not going to be able to use uh, transparent, like, glass. And uh, the opaque block, we will use this grass block for this purpose. What it has to do is it has to block direct sunlight, okay, from hitting a block at the level uh, of the bottom of the door. Okay? So, you're not going to be able to build your village underground because it needs to be able to block direct sunlight. So, unless you were to uh, break the blocks to the surface and allow sunlight to come through, I suppose it would work then. But anyway, the game is going to scan within five spaces of the door on each side for roof blocks, okay? So what it's going to do is from this gold block is one, two, three, four, five. And also on this side it's going to check five, up to five blocks. And what it, the game's going to do is look for an inside and an outside of the house. Now, like I said, roof blocks uh, are also um, required to be a house and they are going to indicate to the game the inside of the house. So within five spaces, which uh, a block that's going to uh, block, no pun intended, the sunlight from a uh, another block on the ground, that's what will constitute as a house. So if we take that uh, explanation into account, this right here, this little image here, this is technically a house in Minecraft. Okay. The other requirement besides just having a roof block here is you have to have an unequal amount of blocks from one side to the other side. What I mean by that is right now we have a block, a roof block on the right side and no roof block on the left side. So the game determines that, okay, on the right side I have an unequal amount, the, the side with the more roof blocks within the five blocks counts as the inside. On the left side I have no blocks, so that must be the outside. On the right side I have one block, that must be the inside. If I was to even them out, the game cannot decide on each side of the door which is the inside and which is the outside, so it can't tell if this is a house or not. Okay? So, the other thing you need to be a the game needs to have a house is a villager in range. I can't remember the range. We'll spawn one here. This is Mr. White. How are you today? And if I press the F3 here, you can see no village found. As soon as I add this block, this roof block, it's going to say, we found a house. So you can see there it says we found a house because we have 
within five spaces of the door on one side, we have more roof blocks than the other side. If I was to add and equal it out, and we'll just, uh, we have to break this door with this mod to refresh it, but if I was to even out the roof blocks here, the game can't decide which is the outside and which is the inside, so it can't say there is a house there. But as soon as we add one more uh, un unequal amount, the game says, okay, so the right side has more roof blocks, it must be the inside, we have a house. Now, what the game does is it scans the bottom layer first. Okay, so we're going to have a house here. Even if we have uh, the, the two sides are equal, the game says, I can't tell which one's the inside and which one's the outside, but what it can do after the first layer, because it scans the first layer, then it scans above the first layer. When we add one block and the game says, okay, the bottom's equal, I can't tell, but on next up we have a roof block that's unequal to the other side. So, the right side must be the inside of the house, and the left side must be the outside of the house. Okay, now this works within five blocks. So if I was to put it on the sixth block here, the sixth block, the game is not going to be able to tell um, that that's a house. But as soon as we add a roof block within the fifth space, and it doesn't actually matter how high you are, we'll go way up high here and add one in the fifth space, and the game's going to say, Oh, okay, so we have a, a roof a block that's tr that's blocking the sunlight. Within five spaces, unequal amount on each side of the door. That must be a house. So in Minecraft, that constitutes as a house. Now, now that we know that, that's what is the requirement of a house, as I break these blocks out of the way. Um... What we can do is actually add, so we have one block here, and we add a door, so refresh it when we have a house, right? We can also add a house here, a house here, and a house here. We're adding doors, but what it's doing is because on each side of these doors, we have a roof block that is unequal to the other side of the door within five spaces. So you can see how within this door we have one roof block on this side, none on this side. It counts as a house. On this door, same thing. One on this side, zero on this side, it counts as a house. So that's the world's smallest four houses <laughs> combination. Um, the other thing we know is that if we have uh, if we have one house here because we have a roof block here, and we add another house, or another door, we have a roof block within five spaces of this door, and a roof block within five spaces of this door, we have two houses. Same if we add another door, we have a roof block within five spaces, unequal amount with this door, we have three houses. So that's how the game determines what a house is. So if I was to add uh, a bunch of houses here, Oh, I had another house here, another house here, another house here, 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 and I add some roof blocks. So now we've got, oh, how many houses? We've got 13 houses, 14, so we've got 14 houses, let me just set the time here. Um, we've got 14 houses. What the game is going to do now, if you notice in uh, on the uh, mod there, the info at the bottom says Villagers 1, which means we have one villager in our village. And in brackets it says 4, which means we can have a maximum of 4 villagers that will self-populate if we breed them. So the game's going to say, okay, de depending on how many houses you have, so remember each one of these is houses based on the criteria, we're going to populate up to 35%. So we have uh, 14, 14 houses, and that's approximately 4. 35% is 4 villagers. So what we have to do is we have to 
breed them, and this is how it works. We move this guy, I call this force dating. We block him in, and we have to spawn another villager, like so. Oh, buddy, get in there, get in there. There you go. And what's going to happen is they're going to look into each other's eyes, fall in love, and say, let's make a baby. And eventually, in a random amount of time, a little tiny villager will pop out. So you can see they're, they're loving each other. And look, there he is right... Oh, sorry. There he is right there. Little guy popped out there. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Oh, oh. You're protecting him. Sorry. Didn't mean to invade your privacy. So that's how villager breeding works. Uh, remember 35% of how many doors you have that... Or how many houses you have, technically. And uh, hopefully that helps and gives you a little idea of how villager breeding works.